Okay guys, here's some tips and tricks that I've used while learning to fly a Nine Eagles Solo Pro miniature helicopter uh, and also a, a little trick with the transmitter which is helpful as well. Because when you're learning to fly you're going to have some crashes I decided to buy some spares. I bought a fly bar, spare rotor blades, small parts kit, uh, main rotor shaft and the little fan at the back and I also made these steadies that you can see on the helicopter here out of this stuff here so I'll explain that now. The steady I used was made from some basic things that you can buy. Um, they consist of some three millimeter barbecue skewers that measure 250 millimeters long. I actually put a point at both ends, not on this one. Some twist ties and some PVA woodworking glue to glue these 35 millimeter diameter styrofoam balls. You could probably also use ping pong balls um, or really light Christmas decoration balls as well. The PVA glue is best for styrofoam because it doesn't melt the styrofoam. Uh, super glue, contact adhesive will uh, melt the, the glue. And the styrofoam balls I actually purchased from a craft shop. They're probably used for making Christmas decorations, my guess. But all of this gear is light and the aircraft will still fly. In fact, any small 200 millimeter rotor diameter uh, helicopter will fly using this setup. Might use a bit more battery power, but saves a lot of broken parts. Mounting the helicopter on the steadies is achieved by using twist ties. I use twist ties rather than zip ties or tape because it allows some movement and will prevent your undercarriage skids from being broken. Uh, the method that I used was I had the skids under the bamboo skewer, so under like that, under at the back, under at the front, so that if the helicopter does crash it can actually flex down a, a little bit or break away like that at the front. Um, the next shot I'll, I'll use is just the, the twist ties actually twisted on. Okay, twist ties are mounted. They're wrapped around the undercarriage. The undercarriage, as I said, is mounted under the barbecue skewers, but the twist ties aren't twisted, just wrapped around. This allows them to open up in a crash. Even the back one, or well, looks like it's twisted, but I'll turn it upside down. It's not actually twisted. Oops. There you go. Uh, it's just wrapped around. Like I said, they open up. The center one's just holding the two sticks together. But they open up in a crash. And while that's an inconvenience, it again takes the load off the undercarriage so you don't end up with breakages. I promised at the beginning that I had a tip or a trick for the transmitter. The transmitter doesn't normally stand. The problem I found with that is that on the back of the unit is where you plug in the helicopter battery for charging. When you do that, it brings on this little green LED light. Without any legs, the unit lays on its back and you can't see the light or lays forward and is pressing on the controls, remembering that the unit switched on, so that's probably not very good for it. So what I did was I added a bit of block foam rubber on one side of the unit glued on the bottom, on the other side of the unit glued on the bottom and at the back I made this little bit of aluminium that I painted black and screwed it onto the existing holes or screw holes that were left over from mode 1 to mode 2 switch over. Therefore the unit stands freely and when you're walking past you can quite easily see whether the battery has been charged or not. Well that's it. I hope you find the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful. 
and I hope that you enjoy many hours of flying your helicopter and training with the minimal of damage.